happened this morning at a business parking lot. There has now been arrest made. Our Taniqua Penix has been covering the story throughout the day and joins us live now from the scene to tell us more. Jane Rashad, Anderson County Sheriff's Office tells us the man they arrested is 32 year old Derek Snyder, the victim, 36 year old Kelly Brooks Jones. According to deputies, Jones worked here at the NRTC and Snyder was a former employee who worked here weeks ago. Katie Brooke Jones was in her car about to go to work when deputies say Derek Snyder fired multiple rounds inside her car. Just before 645, you have a man in a very, I mean, this is a very busy area. This is a business. Um, so who came up, walked up into this parking lot and basically opened fire on that woman. Um, again, shooting several times. Shell Ramin with the Anderson County Sheriff's Office says Jones was immediately taken to the hospital, but ultimately died to her injuries. The coroner's office lists cause of death as multiple gunshot wounds. She unfortunately did not make it, so the coroner has now notified the family. We obviously saw family show up to this business um, receiving that news and you know, those cries, the, that sadness, that heartbreak, that drives our detectives further to make sure that they go over every piece of evidence. The Anderson County Sheriff's Office say deputies took Snyder into custody in Beaufort, Georgia, a few hours after the murder. Obviously, he is dangerous. This is an isolated situation, but um, obviously, if you feel that you can walk into a public area and open fire, um, ultimately killing somebody. We have our fugitive investigations unit out looking as well as our uniform patrol and our K-9 unit. Snyder is charged with murder and possession of weapon during a violent crime and the sheriff's office says he'll be booked in the Gwinnett County Detention Center. That victim, that victim Katie Brooke Jones, of course this is still under investigation, so deputies are not releasing a motive at the moment. For now, reporting live in Anderson County, Taniqua Penix, WIFF News 4.